this old shop. Uh, today we had a customer bring in a fuel oil flow meter off a ship that they need to calibrate and repair. As you can see, here's the main body of it. Come over here. The main body of it, it's got an air eliminator that's got a strainer inside to keep it nice and clean. So we went ahead and popped the, uh, the top off here. Okay, you got a top that comes off. And on top of the top, <laughs> you have this register that reads how many gallons that goes through it, okay? Customer said it was not working at all. So we popped it open inside this brass diaphragm here. And we've, we've cleaned it up slightly, but this part is supposed to, it's supposed to move all the way around. See how it hangs up right there? So after further evaluation, it's got little nicks on this aluminum diaphragm, it's hard to see. And then uh, it's got this, gu this guide plate that's really worn. I don't know if you can see the scratches in that. It also has this bearing that it rolls on. This surface has a lot of lines um, burred into it from dirt and grease and stuff along with the shaft. So we'll probably do a little bit of machining, little, eh, little bit of machining over in our machine shop. Clean that bearing inside, the shaft, clean up all these edges, maybe fly cut it, polish this inside so it uh, slides nice and smooth inside there. Sandblast paint it all, put it back together. And for the air eliminator, there's a uh, check valve. I don't know if you'll be able to see it down in there or not. Move your hand. There it is. We're going to replace that and rebuild it. And this float assembly sits on top of here. When air hits it, it moves this little valve. If the valve floats, pushes this up, and it lets the air squirt out the top so the air doesn't hit the system and, and give it any kind of water hammer. You know, if there's air in here without fuel to lubricate it, it's going to grind itself up. So we're going to take it apart, sandblast it, machine the parts, polish everything, put it back together, calibrate it, and uh, should be good to go. Thanks for watching.